Well, welcome back everyone to probably wrapping things up if you want to know the truth. Yeah, I uh, I think we are, well, obviously we could just go fight the final boss and be done with it. We're right here. Um, but there's a couple more quests that we can do. Uh, let's start and, with Baron. And our, our good friend Drago in the comments, uh, I hope I can call you Drago, uh, has uh, given us some hints as to where we need to go for that. Well, for now, let's deal with the crying person, because we finally remembered who it was that was crying up a fit. It's this poor guy here. Yeah, uh, turns out he's been crying this whole time, and this whole time we could have uh, helped him with his problem. Have seven healing mushrooms. Just yeah. take one, sir. <laughs> oh, I'm cured. I ate a weird mushroom. Yeah, so that he ate a crying like mushroom. A bad idea. Yeah. Yeah, that's a you, problem. Yeah, you never would have been able to stop crying, not until either you died or ate a mushroom. All right. And apparently if you, you just keep talking to this guy, he'll do more stuff. <laughs> oh, hey. Yep. I have seen that. He called baby pigs, but I can't seem to find any. Let me have it. Promise to exchange it for something special. If you say so. Yeah, Treat I don't him know with what lots he's of love. Yes. Raise this baby pig so it doesn't become evil. All right. Drum roll, please. The most unusual coca claw. So unusual about it? Humor me, will ya? <laughs> well, okay, I guess. Alright. I don't. I'm not actually sure what you use the coca claw for. I don't know if I trust this guy for just walking off. <laughs> that seems suspicious. I have a feeling we'll never see him again. <laughs> I believe that might be accurate. Hmm. Well, live your best life. Be responsible. <laughs> oh, it... No, it can't be, because it's not blue. I don't know. Yeah, I will... Uh, I can take a look here. Don't worry about it. I'm sure it'll naturally come up. Yeah, I know the other thing we can do right now is go talk to Grandpa. And take off this umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? There it is. An unusual collection, you say? The fish on top of that table. That's the psychic fish. It'll give you special powers. Like the powers that are currently infused in my body? Stop looking at that fish so longingly. I'll tell you what, I'd be willing to exchange my special fish for five golden items. I have not counted how many we have. But nobody knows where the items are. Well, I'll tell you the names of the items. There's the golden flower. Okay. The golden fruit, the gold sure. leaf butterfly, the gold Makes candy, sense. those are three we uh -huh. all have. Oh, and there's one more. Oh, what was it? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, I won't exchange it for anything less than all five. So you say. All right. Now that we've talked to him, let's see if he says anything here. All right. Well, now that we've actually talked to him about this, you can go talk to the uh, the Great Wise Tree, and he will actually help you now. <laughs> of course. Yeah, because you've got one, two, three, four. Maybe the Coca Claw? Oh. Let's go say hi to a tree. <laughs> It kind of looks golden to me. It does. It does kind of look golden.
Don't mind me, just gonna be too fast. Yes, yes. So you're trying to gather some things that are really difficult to find, huh? You're telling me. Well, the old tree says the golden flower is in the dwarf's flower garden. Okay. All right, so that's the one we need to get a whole bunch of points for. Yeah. We got the golden fruit. Sure did. That I... was from the witch. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't from the witch. I don't remember what gave us the golden fruit. <laughs> Hold on a I minute. don't remember either. Was hmm. it the thief? I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, we got the gold leaf butterfly. Uh huh. Got the gold candy from the witch. Yeah, from the witch. Yep. And he also forgot the final one. You mean racing hell? Oh, yep, yep, yep. It, it, yeah, yeah, it was indeed that. Okay. Yeah, we are aware. But thank you for telling us and giving us even more points. Sorry, I was enjoying some wind. <laughs> I don't know. How are we doing on this thing? Has it grown yet? Should at least check. Uh, there might be another quest that we have uh, accidentally permanently locked ourselves out of. Hooray! But well, I guess we can check that on the oh, quest log. I didn't want to see. be here. Oops. Yeah, I don't want to traverse this. Baron, <laughs> do me a solid. Actually, no, I don't even want to pick the right one. We have 23 charity wings. I'm going to the dwarf village. Fair enough. Yeah, we do have plenty of those. Hello, dwarves. Are you big yet? Been doing all kinds of cool stuff. Dang it. It is not big yet. Boom. Yeah. Okay. We need to get more well. points. Let's see what's left on the the old log. How about? Yeah, I want to see if we have. Actually, here's a better way to check. Um, so it says 124 out of 128. Uh, there was a way. Here we go. This is how I can check this. Okay. A real evil pig, and I'm guessing one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that doesn't seem right. A real evil pig is the final uh, main story mission. Yeah. You go. If we go back to the early pages, I've got a list in order of the secondary events here that I can take a look. I mean, we have. We're, there are no gaps. That's fair. Okay. Well then, what's Plant a flower garden, which, yeah, that checks out. Five gold. Oh, uh huh. Oh, yeah, we have biting plant flower. Okay, so that one did come up. Um, I just realized 128 is how many we know of, not how many are left. Because ah, we have four okay. that aren't completed. So we're so missing we one, two and potentially three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Which would bring us to 136 missions in total, which is a funky number, but whatever. All right, well, So whatever apparently... is before the Troubled Thief and after the gold medal. Well, the one in the list above the Troubled Thief is called Takeout, in which we need to go speak to Jan's father. And then the one after gold medal is where the barrel rolls, which is the one we're permanently locked out of. You did confirm we're locked out of it. Uh, you had to hit that that barrel that we blew up by running through it on, on fire. Uh, you needed to hit it with the blackjack 
three times to knock the spikes off of it and then push it into the water. Yeah, so funny how that just... Why is that even possible to blow up? I don't and... know. You would have gotten 5,000 points for it, so that would have been nice. <laughs> Uh, I you don't think. You, yeah, I don't think you can go directly to the hidden village, which is weird. That's okay. I, mean, I, I guess it is hidden. There. I'm resourceful. I got this. Yeah, oh. and then we're missing like everything after the real evil pig. I don't think yeah. we can actually do takeout. I mean, we can try. Um because the yeah, clear condition is to bring Jan his lunch before clearing hide-and-go-seek, which we cleared hide-and-go-seek. Uh, yeah, I think we might be SOL on that one. Yep. okay. So I don't think we can do either of these two. I can check it out real fast, though. I don't think anything's changed, but while you're looking, yeah. I, can, I can take a peek. Yeah, might as well. He doesn't exactly give you time to hand him stuff, though, I thought. I think he just, like, he just I think, dips. I think you would have to talk to his dad before finding him in the previous location. Uh, whatever. Which, yeah, this game is oddly specific in the order of events it wants you to do things, and if you do it outside of that order of events, you're just kind of SOL for some of these quests. I'm starting to get the impression that this might be a game where you actually need to use a guide if you want to actually 100% it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what gives you that idea. I mean, outside of the fact that I am quite literally using a guide right now to tell me what I'm missing. Because <laughs> some of the things like the biting plant flower, they, they built in a contingency for it. Uh, but... Some of these other quests, they clearly did not. <laughs> then again, oh, Motocross was another thing. It's... Motocross was another one of those where if you had just gotten the gold yeah. immediately, you would not have been able to get the bronze or silver, and you're just permanently locked out of those. Yeah. You, uh, you want to go hiding again, buddy? Yeah, so I think we're permanently locked out of those. Were there any other gaps? Yeah, everything after the real evil pig. Uh, I don't think there was anything after real evil pig. Boop, 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 boop. Um, seven friends. Okay, so it's after seven friends. That's what I needed to know. And it's uh. before take me home. <laughs> Where is seven? Oh wait, no. Seven friends it's is a is a story that... quest. Okay, so it's not going to be in that list. That's before. It's possible that it is just intentionally br uh, blank for story versus side. There, there are no more story quests after Real Evil Pig. And then does the side start with Take Me Home? It does. Cool. In that case. We have two permanently missed things, and we just need to get some points for Plant a Flower Garden. All right, fair enough. So, uh, montage? Yeah, the, uh, the suggested method of grinding I points, remember. I don't know how many we need, was to kill things at the watchtower. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> And I am doing it too fast. Yes. But I guess this way we're at least doing everything we can. Yeah, we won't be able to 100% it, but we will have only missed two things, both of which are things that are permanently locked out of if you don't know about them in the first place. <laughs> so I what feel like we're doing all right. Yeah. 
Well, I guess this is actually a pretty decent time unless you want to just fast forward a bit. Uh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Was there anything you wanted to uh, share thought-wise about this experience before we even go into the final? Okay, I need to just send them straight down, it looks like. Uh, before we go into the final boss. Yeah, it doesn't look like what you're doing is actually killing these guys, by the way. <laughs> um, I, I can just do this. Oh, that works, yeah. You, you've got powered up, powered up attack, so... That, that gives you the same amount of points as you would if you had thrown them. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I, it's been a really fun experience. Um, it, this definitely feels like the sort of game where you really need to get used to it to get the full experience of it. Um, but once you are used to it, it seems like it's a really good time. Um, but it has been a really good time. Like, the humor of this game is really on point. Um, it does have a little bit of a problem of being really floaty, but that floatiness, when you when you know what you're doing, can just allow you to f just fly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Also, I, I think I might be onto something here. I might be cooking. <laughs> um... Oh, he already existed. That's fine. No, I, I know I have a spawn point here. <laughs> you just gotta stop throwing them. I know. Um, but yeah, it's. I've I have enjoyed this game. It can be a little frustrating at times, uh, especially when I was playing it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. But overall, I think I think it's a really fun game. I can see why there's so many people who have really come out uh, about, you know, how much they really enjoy this game and are happy we're playing it. So I'm glad y'all found the channel because some of you did I know did not know the channel before we started playing Toomba. So that's just fun. Um, <laughs> um, and yeah, I've, I've really liked it. It does have a bit of a problem. Uh, which is pretty common in games from its era of, you know, if you're not aware of something that you're supposed to be doing, you can get yourself permanently locked out of it. Uh, but uh, again, that's unfortunately pretty common for its era. I mean, even Super Mario RPG had a couple of things that you could very easily permanently lock yourself out of. Um, Found it, and the Brendan. remake also still allows you to permanently lock yourself out of them. Does it so, really? Yeah. Frog coins, more specifically. Mm, that Although, makes sense. I think it's easier to grind out frog coins in the in the new one. Yeah, yeah, you can you can grind them out a little bit easier in the remake than you could in the original. And that that is one difference of, you know, you could permanently miss a frog coin or two in the in Mario RPG. But there was also a way to grind them. Whereas in this game, you have a, a quest log that you can permanently miss out on quests, which, I mean, the end result is you end up having to do this and grind for a couple points instead of getting the points from the quest. But, like... Well, in all fairness, if I waited on opening those chests, we wouldn't be in this mess. Because a lot of those had massive points in within. True, true. I suppose there is that. But like, I'm thinking oh, more no. of like the, the prize for those, the reward for doing those quests was, is usually just points. Um, yeah. But, you know, which you can grind if you want, if you want to get the points that way. But also at the end of the day, you still have a quest log that is not full. <laughs> you can't 100% yeah. the game. Also, I think either Lunch or Barrel had a health pip link to it. Oh, yeah, probably. I'm gonna Which, guess probably Barrel. I'm... Look, other than just wanting to see it filled out, I'm not too bothered by that. I think I, we have enough. I still don't know what suddenly allowed us to have over eight. Um, so I'm just happy we have more than eight. 
<laughs> You're right. I'm not sure either, but hey, I'll take it. I honestly thought that all those extra health pips were just gonna do nothing. So... You know, I was about to say, oh, I'll just do this until I get, uh, get to, what is that, 50,000. And then I just zoned out. Yeah. No, it, it can build up pretty quickly. Um, I, I found the loop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you definitely did. <laughs> we found the fast rats. But, yeah, I've, I've really been liking it. Do you have any thoughts on the game now that you're replaying it again? I know you grew up with this one. Yeah, I, it just, when you are used to the controls, you know what to expect and whatnot. The game just feels fun to play. Toomba is a joy to control. <laughs> the weapons are kind of hit or miss. You're, you're mostly just a platformer in that sense. Until you get the grapple jack, this thing's kind of sweet. Um, yeah one-shotting enemies that normally took two hits. Also, it just grapples as... No, I lost the loop. Uh, also, it just also does the whole grapple thing, which is nice. Yeah. And it's got really far reach. Like, it, it goes farther than any of your other weapons. I think it goes right. as far with a base throw as uh, Blackjack did if you charged it up. Yeah. Um... The missable quest is a little disappointing. I feel like those are things I should have known, but it, it has been a minute since I played this game, as some things have probably made it a little obvious. I mean, also, it turns out, playing this and talking at the same time, not always the easiest. Yeah, people... I feel like that's always something that uh, people don't think about too much uh, when you're watching... Uh, you know, people commentate over a video game. You're now doing two things at the same time, and so it becomes really easy to just, like, miss stuff. <laughs> it's fine, though. It, it has been a very good time with this game, and I don't think I'm looking at anything in a different light, necessarily. Like, oh, those were rose-tinted glasses through and through. No, I'm just having a great time. Still like it just as much as I did then. Yeah, and apparently they're making, um, they're like porting this game to, I think, PS5. Um, which, yeah, I didn't know that. I've been so out of the loop of new stuff that that's cool and surprising. So for um, all of you who, you know, I don't, I honestly am not sure if the, there are more people with a PS1 than there are people with PS5 okay. uh, or vice versa at this point. Um, I'm going to say that's done. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, if you've if you've not had a chance to play Toomba or really liked it, but no longer have access to it, that might be a way that you can get yourself on a legal copy. I don't or have a PS5, anyway. I, mean, I'm just I <laughs> don't think Brendan does either. Uh, but, yeah give it a go. I can't say I have any opinions on it because I have not felt it or touched it. And hey, it's a golden flower. Fancy Yay. that. 